Hello. How y'all doing? Great. It's good to be here at my keynote speaker. And some people like, you know, to bring the pair of people to practicing, same with the species. To me, you know, it, it, it is beast, but to me, it's a testimony. And you know, go says like you testify that nobody knows beast. They just said their own thing. But this is, but this is a little bit different. You know, it's not about chess. It's about it's about what I do on the job. And I can, I can, but I remember sitting there like I was young, about 12, 13 years old. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I would sit right in the back. Whoa. Scared to talk to anybody. Scared to talk to anybody. But, you know, you know, when I have an injury, my injury come when I was seven months old. I mean, but it's a long story so but I'm not gonna get into that. But let's get into how I started the employment. It started with my grandma who passed away 10 years ago, where take me, find a car, DRS, Department of Rehabilitative Service. And I went to Fisherville, Virginia, and they have what they call a Woodrow Wilson Rehabilitation Center. It's a, like a campus, like an audio type campus located in the Senador Valley off I-64 between uh, Waynesboro and Stanton. And it filled with a lot of people with disability, you know, but I did not want to go. At first, I did not want to go there because there are a lot of people had all this type of disability. I do not want to go there. But, you know, there's a this there's, there's a advantage. We had what we call outings. I mean, now raise your hand if anybody been to National Bridge in Virginia. Anybody been there? Oh, a few. Wow. <laughs> now raise your hand or anybody who have been to Larry Cabins. Wow. <laughs> Believe me. That, that's a nice place to be, right? Yeah. Wow. I've been there too. And you know, that's a lot of gratification, man. You know, you've been in one for one, one year, but you do have to get you to all the people with disability, you know. I came down here to study a course, you know, take a outfit perfect into a business skills. And um, I got to teach me, Miss Holly. Nobody can stand her, but she <laughs> fell <laughs> like <laughs> she was about to fail me on the class, but I did the best I can. I barely passed a passed a class. <laughs> and at the result, I I well let's go back to my uh when I went to high school. In high school, I was so scared. I did not attend a graduate ceremony. I had to, usually when you go to a graduate ceremony, you hand out your diploma, step in state, get a diploma. I was scared. They had to send my diploma through the mail. How good diploma. But when I was at with the Wilson, they did the same thing. But this time, I put my tassel on, walked through stage, and my grandma was there, my brother was there, and they gave me a certificate for associate degree. And so it just made me feel real good working with people with disability. Well, that just, it's been six months now, unemployed, but then I got my first star here. And I thought, hmm, this could be good. <laughs> good, good. So I started employed in November 1993, and let me tell you, <laughs> at first time it was quite, quite hard my him. And then there's one employee, me, Garland Cooper, when I 
when I first came in free time, he, he used to bring me all these stacks of white envelopes, 300 of them. And I was like, oh my goodness. They're going to be signs. But that's okay, but I got through it. I got through it. You know, I didn't like it, but I got through it. I got through it. But, you know, ever since then, since technology came, you know, we start getting less and less of a of a package and everybody tend to go to uh, in, online internet while here. And that my side here. But ever since then my grandma my grandma passed away because she but she was the first one that gave me the job. And I kept on, kept on, kept on, kept it on. And <laughs> and my brother and my brother and come trying to think that you're not you're not go your job not gonna last it long. You probably you could probably could be our job and <laughs> well, put me on. Put me on. And <laughs> they pretty much like, hmm. Because my other brother, they just trick job and just don't he got a job but but don't keep a job. <laughs> But I just pressing on, pressing on, pressing on. And that my side here. Now, um, I truly wanna thank the Lord. I mean, you know, it's not the type of thing that you get. In case I show you this certificate right here. It's right here. This, and this is my second one. Do you type of thing that you do not get? Do you type of thing that I do not expect to get? I mean, when I do my work, when I work on, I don't work for this. I work to provide the customer the best they can. There's, there's, there'll be other gratification that gonna come when I get out my job. I tell you one thing. I truly want to thank the board director and Pop pa, pa, uh, Atkinson for this nice certificate. I want to thank the counter for providing information that I have. And what can I say? I t I've been working with Kelly for 22 years. And I, I'm going to tell you, see, <laughs> she will keep you straight. I mean, she keep me straight, but she's not the type of person that don't, I mean, I mean, see, she'll get on, see someone get on your case, you did one, she'll, she'll get on you, but in a kind way, in a kind way. Some people will get, <laughs> get angry, but I don't get angry, I don't get angry, I just keep going, and that how, I get my encouragement, and at the end, when you get, now we get foot away, I just walk away and just, you know, go out there, go someplace else, you know, ease my mind. When I don't get foot away, I do it anyways, you know. But me and her been together, 20, I mean, <laughs> 22 years, and we started to get to it together. I mean, even though it's, it's a, we work together and see a very good employer to work and get to work with. Now, co-workers, I've been through five co-workers. I think the first one was Sal Akins. And I think in two years probably. So he left. Then that it lady me name Tony Cooking, I know her name. I don't seem to remember. But I know she have a baby. But she, she left. That my second co-worker. Now my third co-worker is Steve Wagner. Steve Wagner seems to be one of my favorite co-worker. But he, he went on to be with the Lord and he watching every, watching everybody. Then Kelly got two candidates. One is Zena. And one is, I think, we're in Stephanie. 
Well, she saw 75 car, it was closed, but she saw her first. But she, she, she started work a few times, but she in my A. I'm like, why is she not so hard to work? I mean, <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> going on here. But then we saw Zena. Now, to me, she been there longer than any of my coworkers. She has done a phenomenal job helping people, delivering the mail, like delivering FedEx, delivering UPS, uh, she bring out packages and stuff like that. And the and she a good coworker to work with. And they were two of my favorite person, you know. And I think now there I wanna thank all y'all too. Because being for being as a good customer. Because I'm not gonna be name everybody, but you know, being a customer and we provide to help y'all like, you know, we get the mail done, read the mail, get the uh, get addresses for packages so that could be sent out in a upon the amount of time, all that other stuff. And 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 truly, you're a very good customer to us and very good customer to me. And one more thing before before I close. This here letter I'm with you. But it says here Dear Milton Steele, congratulations on your selection at Eggleston Employee of the Year for 20, well, he put out 2013, but actually 2014. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Moving on. Connor Olsen often told me how well you run the marijuana operation for Norfolk District. He also shared with me that during your second speech, you spoke on integrity and we see a standing ovation. I am very proud of you and what she do for the U.S. Army and the Corps Engineer S.A.R. signed by Kenty Save with the General U.S. Army Commanding North Atlantic Division. Amen. Okay. In closing, let me just say this, that, you know, I will continue to, to provide the honor, to provide the integrity, to provide the working to everybody, because that what my mom taught me, that what my mate grandma taught me, that what my grandfather taught me, that what my dad taught me, that what my preacher taught me, that what my elder taught me. So that's all I got to say. God bless you and thank you. <laughs>